Yoda. And welcome to Yarns, Yarns from, from the South. South. Uh, my name's Vanessa. And I'm Sue. <laughs> and we are a nitty and chatty, crafty podcast coming from, from all the way down the south of the South Island. Right down the bottom. In, of New Zealand. Yeah. So, Kia ora, welcome to those who are new here and welcome back to those who have been here before. Yeah, thank you for coming and uh, seeing our last podcast for the year. Yeah, for 2023. Hi, what number is it? Oh, that's a good question and I don't know. I think it could be 21. Mm. Is it? I should be able to tell you. We're so professional. Um, I can't tell you. I think it could be 21. It could be, which Let's is pretty for, exciting. Let's it's, go for 21. Yeah. And if it's not, then it's not. Um, it's a Sunday. It's the 17th of December. So we are very much on the countdown to Christmas. Yeah. Um, We're in a different location, still in my house. Mm. Um, this is actually in the living room um, or lounge or whatever lounge. you call it. Uh, front room, not really a front room, <laughs> um, drawing room, probably not, um, but uh, I was doing some Christmas baking, so decided that um, it would mean things would get less messy if we were in here, so we've just, we've, we've got it, we've mixed it up a bit. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, um, that's just how we roll. Hmm. Nice. Right, so we didn't, I don't think we podcast in November. We were really early in November. Oh, yeah. well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and we've probably been a bit late. Oh, well. But that's okay. I still think that's pretty cool, the amount of podcasts that we've done over this year. Yeah, I think we're doing um, pretty well. Mm, yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Um, we probably, I don't think we will p- podcast in January, but just because no. it gets so busy. Um, of course, it's summertime here in New Zealand, and that's often when we go away, you know, to... Um, enjoy our summer um, I things will be a bit different for me because we are putting our um, house on the market so um, we're going to be spending all of January trying to get it completely sorted and then hopefully sold so I don't know if I'd have any time to commit to that but we'll hopefully from February onwards be yeah. able to do that yeah yeah hmm. cool so hope everyone's enjoying their um, lead up till Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and just um, enjoying themselves in this time of year. <laughs> I'm babbling. <babbling. laughs> I'll just be quiet now. Uh-huh. What have you been up to, Sue? Um, well, I've been, I've been watching some Vlogmases, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which I've been thoroughly enjoying. Um, I've just been kind of getting sorted for Christmas. Uh, yesterday was the Invercargill Christmas races, which oh. was the, ha- the social highlight of Invercargill's calendar. Um, which, me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lot, yeah, lots of people hate it. So. Uh, mm. Mm. But it was all right. Yeah, the weather kind of held out and it was quite mm. fun and I didn't stay too long, so that's good. Um, yeah, just kind of just tired and just ready to, for a holiday. Oh, man, our, it's our big holiday time here, so mm. the Northern Hemisphere, it's more about kind of hunkering down and getting cosy and eating good food um, here. I find Christmas is more about summer holidays, getting out, trying to enjoy the sunshine. Still out. catching up with Fano. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Fano is a big thing, family. Yeah. yeah, so, um, and still eating good food. Yeah. So, yeah, hmm. I'm just looking forward to a break. Um, what are you doing for Christmas? We are spending it just at home by ourselves, so it's very exciting. We were going to have neighbours come um, and spend Christmas Day, but they've um, had a change of plans, so it's oh, just us. Oh, so. just you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which uh, we worked out that's the first time we've ever done that, so. Oh, um, wow. Oh, mm. that's cool. You can mm. just do your own thing. Yeah, no. yeah. Oh. Mm. Um, um, yeah, we're going up north to Rotorua to hmm. um, stay with Auntie Claire and um, Merv and um, we'll see fans of the show, Auntie Claire's also fans of the show, <laughs> um, um, my cousin John and um, his wife Lydia, so we'll see them, so that'll be really cool, and then we're going to Wellington and see my um, Auntie Diane, who's also a fan of the show, and Uncle Duncan, so yeah. It's cool. I'm back here. Yeah. Pretty sure your your family are most of of the, <laughs> the fans. <laughs> <laughs> we 
would make a solid quarter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is lovely. Thanks for watching. Mm. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Should we crack in? Crack we don't know what otherwise Aye. I can sense it. Um all right. I haven't like a lot of my FOs are actually Christmas knits, which I'm not gonna show. <laughs> So that's great. So that's great. Yeah. Great content. They are very gorgeous. I can vouch for that. I have seen them and yeah. And I will them. include them job. in February. Mm. Um, but I decided I didn't want to spoil it. So, but I can show one because I've given one and I made two. So, yeah. Shall I do that? But then won't the person... No, the person's got it. It was for Secret oh, right. Santa. Yeah, cool. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I think last time I said, "Oh, I'm a monogamous knitter. I never, I never do anything else when I'm knitting one project." Well, I went, I went against oh, that. Yeah. So but I decided to just do some little knits, so they're not like full on like big jumpers or anything. So had a secret Santa who got, and they don't watch this um, mm. podcast, and I think they guessed it with me anyway. So, <laughs> so from work, um, and they are into cats. Um, like me and so I bought them uh, a stress toy that was in the shape of a cat a mug that says ask me about my cat mm -hmm. and then I found a pattern and um, this is I did this on bigger needles and then I made a one on smaller needles so the one that they got was slightly neater than this but I made a little pussy cat so cute um so I found just a free pattern um on Ravelry, and then I just made made up the pattern to make the little Christmas hat. Well done. Yeah, so I was like, <laughs> so cute and mm. very quick to knit. Like you make it in a night. So mm. I'm not a very good origami kind of knitter. Like I've was like crochet. Sorry, that I've always wanted to be able to do that, but I um, did that once, and um, I made. A rabbit, which was very cute, but mm. four times as big as it was meant to be. So it was meant to be like this size. It ended up this size. It was still cute. Very oh, good. It was cute. Yeah. It was cute. Just massive. <laughs> I'd like mess, read the pattern wrong, so I haven't gone back. Mm. So anyway, so I found a knitted pattern. So there, yeah. So it's so cool. It was very so cute. cute. Yeah, I was very happy. And then yeah, and then my other finished items are Chris. Well, I've made one for me. But, and then I've made the same thing for a Christmas present and I've make, make, made one thing and I'm making another thing that I gave for Christmas present. So I don't want to show them. Because mm. they do watch this. Um, yeah. They're going to be very, well, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to enjoy I think them. they're super <laughs> duper cute. Yeah, but yeah. Yes. And, it, and I quite like saying what I've made to people who aren't knitters and they kind of go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love doing that. They're like, mm. why the fuck would you do that? Yeah. So... <laughs> <coughs> because I because can. why not? Why yeah. wouldn't you do that? And it's fun, and mm. it's nice to do some. Um, yeah, definitely enjoying the Christmas knits at mm. Christmas. Mm. So. And you've always really liked doing little toys and things like yeah. that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. So um, yeah, that was kind of a lot of what I used to do really mm. in the mm. beginning, early stages, particularly for like baby gifts mm. and stuff. I wouldn't do a jumper. I'd always like make a wee toy or something. Mm. So yeah, they've always been a fave of mine. Mm. So yeah. So yes, yeah, so can't tell you what they are, but they're good. They're cool. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, well done. Good. What have you finished? All right. What have I done? Well, I, can't, I don't think I showed this last time. I think I showed it as a work in progress. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I completed. You're just about to finish it, I think. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was casting off maybe. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Well, I did it. I cast off. Yeah. This is a big blanket. Wow. Um, oh, look at that. And it is the anthology throw by Curious Handmaid, um, and her name is Helen Stewart. And it's my second blanket that I made. Um, and this is made for my little sister Lily, who's mm. about to spread her wings and fly off to Wellington mm. in just a month or so, which is pretty crazy. Mm. Um, and I just I still need to block it, but she she took off with it before I could block it because uh, she loved it so much so um but we have talked about we'll block it before she she goes um, yeah yeah and yeah so that, uh, that's great it's, it's nice to get it off the needles I'm, I must say like I really enjoyed knitting it. it's such a great pattern but and I thought that I was going to love it because I didn't have to worry about the color changes um but it actually like the color changes do make it a bit uh, a bit fun and you know 
it's that whole like oh well I'll just knit to the to the next color change you know that kind of thing it did get a wee bit monoton monotonous after mm. a while but still it's nice to be finished I still need to weave in the ends too whoopsie it's so gorgeous um and then I think I had these on the needles as well yes um so I have finished them oh yes because that was on that yarn without the plastic in it yeah the Lincoln this is Lincoln no it's not is it yes it's from Wild Earth Yarns mm. and it's their Lincoln sock base mm -hmm. and so it doesn't have any nylon it's 80 percent merino yeah uh, fiber and 20 percent Lincoln fiber and Lincoln the Lincoln part of it is the part that keeps it makes it hardy apparently the Lincoln sheep is apparently quite an old breed for here in New Zealand mm -hmm. and yeah it's got very hardy properties to it so um, yeah I've made my two so I, again I have to weave in the ends I'm so slack at that part oh, yeah. <laughs> which I'm sure I'm not the only one no um, but yeah that's that was nice to get them done cool uh, just another pair of socks just very stock standard plain vanilla um, cuff down sock with a part, eye of partridge heel and a star toe I think I do and that's it that's it pretty boring I've been a little bit um, not focused on knitting I actually, I think I've lost a bit of knitting mojo mm. Dun -dun. Mm -mm -mm. Um, definitely still loving creativity but just yeah just don't have any okay. knitting mojo at the moment hi puss puss hi this is one of my nervous cats oh she's gonna Aww. let me pet her today oh you are very come on. special come on. I feel oh. like. Do you want to come up and see? No. no oh no, God, no! no. no. Oh. oh my God! <laughs> I well, I really <laughs> overstood the mark. You fucked it up. <laughs> That's come it. Come on. No. You, How no. dare you? How you tried dare to lift you. me up. You <laughs> can pat me. No, she doesn't like me lifting her up. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. Forgive me. Forgive me. No, oh, we can't. I pointless me showing you. I could try again. Do you think I should? No. <laughs> um, come on. So this is one of Sue's cats that usually doesn't l like. Won't. This has taken. This has taken eighteen months for Vanessa mm. to be able to actually do a pat, to pat her casually. <laughs> like, yeah, this is this is taking a long time. We Jim still can't pat one of them. Mm. So the other juror won't even come oh, in the house no. if I'm here. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mm. Such a funny thing. Whereas Benny, the mischievous one, he's just been sat on Vanessa's car, so. Yeah. Oh. He's a totally different. Yeah, completely breed, different breed. Mm. Mm. So, that's my finished object. Okay. Whippity whip whip. Yeah, go on. Um, so, I'm making. So, one is that I make Christmas present, but then. So, I cast on. I'll just do it show you quickly because you saw the sock last mm. time, but. Love that bag. Bag that I got in Canada mm. um, no wrong one let's go to <laughs> let's not do that one yet um, this is a big badge collector I used to collect badges a lot when I was a kid and I've carried on um, so mm. I did sorry not prepared oh yeah so I casted on the second mm. um, my second sock for the um, Stephen West Oh, yeah. Um, I did write it down. It's from last time, anyway. Um, the Rising Dawn socks, mm. and it's um, Rainy Day, Everything Everywhere sock set. Um, and I ran out of the grey because oh, I did right. quite a. Because um, it's not meant to have contrasting cuffs, um, heels, and toes. And a Stephen West is quite a long cuff, and so I ran, I've run out of the grey, but I got in contact with Rainy Day Yarn, and um, she really kindly sent me, um, paid for obviously, but sent me another mm. um, mini skein of the grey, so I'll be able to finish it, so it'll be nice. That's lovely. So, yeah, that'll probably be done over Christmas. Mm. Um, and then I started... Um, my brother's toque. He found it quite funny that we were laughing at the name. <laughs> he was like, why do you laugh at the name? He's like, that's toque. what it's called. Like, toque. And like, with our silly accents, he found it <laughs> hilarious. 
Oh man. So I started so I started a took, the took, the took. The took. The took. I'll try and come a bit closer. See if you can see. So hmm. it's so he's beautiful. got a really large head. <laughs> um but it's actually it's actually a genetic thing on the my mum's side, the Wiley it side. It looks like it's lovely and stretchy. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be apparently he kind of mm. went a little bit That's in. Beautiful. So a little bit less, so it wasn't too so I hope it's not too sloppy because I've ended up so I had to I had to adapt adapt the pattern and go too larger than the actual large so mm. i think it'll be fine though because it's it's a rib so i don't mm. think i'll slip off so i just adapted um the tin cat from using the tin can knits app and you can buy like basic patterns and then it's really good you can just choose to you can pick for to choose um so there's different things like a hat a jumper cardigan and you just say what yarn it is what size it is and you it'll just mm. tell you how to knit it so it's great it's bloody sock yarn like i don't normally knit hats in sock yarn it's my own fault so anyway it's fine it's fine you get um, in the end it's really nice it's just so mm. nice to knit and it's just really it's yeah and it's um just very it's just like um close your eyes kind yeah. of knitting so yeah and it's knitting it really well so i told him it won't be ready for christmas and he's like it's all right mm. our winter's going for a while <laughs> maybe so. next christmas <laughs> yeah you'll, you'll have it to him yeah so i've got to go for 16 centimeters before i can decrease hmm. but i'm not too far i think this is about 11 or 12 so i'm not too far away so once my christmas knits are done um i'll Keep be onto this to yeah, yeah. that before my socks so yeah cool and that's with the yarn i got um in Canada, mm. so it's Okanagan Dye Works. Mm. Um, the colour, do I say the colour? Oh, spruce. It's so gorgeous. That'll come around the right way. So, yeah. And it's a merino, 80 20 merino. So, it's mm. actually, I think it's a sock, probably. Yeah. So, oh. that's. That's, that's me. That. That's me, yeah. So All right. In my nice bag. Yes, beautiful yarn and your beautiful bag. Yeah. Well, oh. I know this is gonna be really crazy. No way. But guess what I've got on my no needles. Actual way. <laughs> that's right, guys. Another pair of socks. Whoa, whoa, I, whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of just I've I've lost my knitting no, I'm I've got that overwhelm of like what to cast on, what to cast on. Uh, well, your, your life's quite busy. It, it is. Um, I've got a baby that I need to knit for. I, I thought was you said I've got to have a baby. And I was like, God, you haven't no. told me this. <laughs> By the way, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking hey, news. Who's the um, podcast exclusive? <laughs> like, oh, okay. Good. No, no, no. No. <laughs> that, no, no, that's not going to happen. No. Um, I, no. I have done the whole baby thing. That's yeah, long in the past. Anyway. But I have a good friend who's having her first baby and I need to make her something and I was going to weave her a blanket or the baby a blanket, the baby is going to be a boy. But um, because we're trying to sell the house and I don't know, the whole uh, warping up is just just um, too much for me right now. And I was going to cast on um, the Habitation Throw, which is another um, blanket type thing from... Curious Handmade. Oh, and knitted. It, yes, knitted, mm. and it was designed to use up Advent um, minis. Oh, yeah. And so I was thinking about using my um, Advent from last year to make this baby blanket. I'm a little bit mm, funny about making things out of my expensive yarn for babies and other people because... Uh, you know, <laughs> just and because you've got, and you've also kind of you bought that advent for yourself, and then mm. you don't get to enjoy it. Yeah, and so I do think, oh, well, I've got all of this other yarn that I could, I should just, and, ma and talking about it is actually making me go, no, I just will warp up my, my um, loom, loom, and just because it's a, it uses up this yarn. It's good yarn too. It's you know perfectly fine, and. 
it's still a beautiful thing to gift a, a homemade yeah thank once, you once thanks you everybody go, once you go going it's quick yeah it is i think it's just the warp part that um is putting me off because i have to use up a lot of space and currently because we're trying to like i'm i'm in that horrible everything's everywhere oh that's my delivery driver for my food thing <laughs> but i saw him last week so it's okay i've already exchanged christmas she usually has a wee chat with him i do mm -hmm. i think he likes me yeah yeah because he oh yes hi well there we go he, he doesn't he's not all cheery like that with me uh -uh. our he dog gave, usually tries to eat him though so. he gave a spear last week i gave him a large box of chocolates yeah no euphemism. with them <laughs> just a large box of chocolates <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've gone red now. <laughs> well, you're blushing. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. <coughs> Excuse Sorry. me. Um, what were I saying? I don't know. We got distracted by the. You can't driver. stop thinking about the <laughs> food box delivery man. Um, I was saying that. Oh, our house is a bit of a. It's all over the place because I'm trying to declutter and all that kind of thing. And so the idea of taking up space to make this. To walk up the loom is just putting me off. But it, I, if I just did it, and then it doesn't take up much space because it's all on the loom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks, everyone. It's I will like just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just do it, just it, do it and then yeah. you'll feel happier. Um. So in the meantime, I just cast on a pair of socks. But what? I did do something this different. Is I am this is so exciting. excited. <gasps> I'm doing two at a time. Why? Well, thank you to our good friend Alana, Hi, who Alana. does this herself. She does two at a time socks. Yeah. And um, she, you know, pop up, popped up a wee picture on her, on our chat the other night. And I was like, man, i got to give that a go. I tried once years ago and I just, my brain could not work it out. And then she was like, no, it's just easy. And, you know, and so I thought, come on, Vanessa, give it a go. And I did. And it's amazing. And I'm really happy. So talk us through it. What do you do? Just like Alana said, you cast on half the stitches of your first sock. And then you've got to have two balls of yarn. Then with the, the second ball of yarn, you cast on all of the stitches for your second sock. And then picking back up that first ball, you cast on the, the second half of the stitches of your first sock. And then you just join in the round and you, away you go. Oh. And it's really that easy. So what do you do? Do you knit? What ones do you knit? Well, so you can sort of see where you're at because where you where your working yarn is yeah and so you know i just knit half of that part that sock oh yeah and then i put down that working yarn and pick up this working yarn and then knit this half of the sock oh yeah you know turn it around knit that part of the sock oh. yeah it's ah. uh, it's so easy Did i don't you... know why i didn't try it harder try doing it harder earlier on but obviously it was my time to do it now so do you think it's quick yeah well it's it takes away that whole second sock mm. itis, doesn't it? Um, mm. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. And this yarn That's is lovely. Is I love it so much. It's I don't think I've got the tag, but it's um, purple sprouting. Oh, I love purple sprouting. Is it? Yeah, it is. Um, and it's the colorway is called Spring Fever. Oh. And it's just beautiful. I'm so happy with how it's knitting up. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh. I've got lots of plans, but yeah. It's, it's a hard time of year. It's so busy, yeah. It's busy we, and it's trying to finish things off. Yeah. So we, we're not just selling our house, we're also building. And ba, so, ba, 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 ba. so that's news. been very, um, oh, you know, like getting the piece of land and then dealing with the bank and the lawyer and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, Mark's been away <laughs> for work for about two weeks. So I've been doing a lot of that and then also trying to work and look after the kids and all that kind of thing. So i have been a bit on. Yeah. And so the, and then trying to organise Christmas and all that kind of thing. So really, I shouldn't, I don't know why I feel like I should be knitting more because hmm. socks is just fine. <laughs> like, why not just, just stick with it? Yeah. 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 Just... Yeah, why overcomplicate things right, right at the moment? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, the fact that you even have time and that you're giving yourself some time to knit is amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. There we Hi. go. Yep. Cool. Okay. Should we look at acquisitions? Yeah, acquisitions. I haven't... Well, so then the things that I'm making that I'm not telling you about, I had mm. actually buy you on for that, but it's kind of... Um, it's because they're like a... 
the like of a toy kind of kind of ornamenty thing I've used what I could get locally so I've just used kind of acrylic and things so um, I'm not going to show that um, but I um, mentioned I think on the um, post show from Canada uh, that I bought lots of things and I bought a um, advent mm. calendar from uh, Firefly Notes, which um, they do stitch markers and tins from mm. Canada. And so I've been de opening that. So I thought I might show a few of the um, stitch markers and place markers that I've got. What I'll do, I'll do a wee video because when I insert photos that don't always come out well on iMovie, for there's some reason it's not just me. I've Googled this. Um, so I'll do a wee video, but I'll just show a few. I haven't thought about this. So it'll just be what I can grab out. Um, but they're gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous um, wee selection. And I think their theme is like, I don't know, like foresty kind of mystically kind of things. Um, do you want me to hold it? Oh, yeah. So today with a strawberry. Um, there's a few there, look. I quite like oh, the bee gorgeous. thing. Yeah. So. What does it say? Oh, yes. It's oh, like a moon. A... Oh, hang on. Where am I going? Whoop. That's cute. Oh, it doesn't want to. Oh, I think oh, it's there okay. You go. Uh, hang on. Strawberry, where are you? There. So cute. That was today's. Do mm. it. No. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm so professional. Nearly. <laughs> yeah. Hence I'll do a video. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the best option. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's yeah. sweet. Isn't yeah, for a little four leaf, leaf clover. Mm. Um, which is kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm having the same issue. I think you're supposed you to do, do that. I think you want to do that. Mm. I don't know. Oh, no, I don't. No. no. Anyway, I'll do a video. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I really enjoyed that and um, I've already decided I would do that next year. So, um, so, kind of, because it wasn't, ah, oh, with the exchange rate, it would be expensive, but not as expensive as a full yarn advent, mm. so, um, and it's a present, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So, yep. um, yeah, I really enjoyed that, and yeah, getting some lovely, some really special um, stitch markers, so I cool. would definitely recommend. And then we've talked about how we've um, exchanged um, a yarn advent between us mm. for Christmas this year, so which has been really fun because we've done advent calendars the last few years, but we've done it with gifts. Mm. And then the last one, you'd always have like a full 100 gram skein. But this year, we've bit the bullet and actually gone right. So, and this is, and I've, and I um, swung into the mm. world of dying. And you've done a fabulous job. Yeah. Too. So, well, we hold up both of, like you hold yes. up, your, yeah. So, oh, we're I'm not going to go, we're not going to tell you like who the yarn's from or anything. Because like, some of them have been dyed by us, some of them are our like little bits of leftovers that we had, and some of them we've bought from um, dyers. Yeah, so you're allowed, you're, the rules were. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what the rules, and they're all 20 gram skeins. Yeah. And I, I am so in love with mine. I love it. So beautiful. <laughs> so lovely uh, combination. They just look like um, little gorgeous bouquet. little bouquets. Yeah, of loveliness. Yeah. So, and that has been um, really fun. Mm. And each morning we send a picture to um, to each other saying, thank you, mm. we've got this one. So it's been, yeah, it's mm. been really nice. So mm. be keen to do that again next Same. year. Yeah. 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 To find more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's been good. And it was... Um, yeah, not too hard of work to mm. organise. Like, I definitely feel more confident with the old dyeing. Your dyeing's been thing. amazing. I only did yeah. five. I didn't set myself too much because yeah. I thought, oh god. Like, I was, I was um, suspecting a, <laughs> a disaster. A disaster. Mm -hmm. So, but actually, mm. it was a lot of fun. It was just like quite sciency and mm. like you don't know. Yeah. Mm. So I kind of, yeah, I enjoyed it. I just and I just stuck with like solid colours really. Mm. Which is a little bit of tonage, but I didn't I didn't set myself too harder. I don't know how they do like the speckled thing and stuff like I, that. I I well I did a lot of research. Mm. I did quite a bit of research and I cuz I I think I'd shown on a podcast that I'd bought um mm. a kit from um Ashford's which is brilliant and definitely recommend that if you wanted mm. to like 
as a start off, like a good starter, like it's got good instructions. So um, there's good stuff on YouTube. So yeah, mm. I would definitely recommend that. Mm. So yeah, keen to, and I just Jordan. used, you get a free, you get two skeins with it. So I just use one of the skeins divided up into five. Yeah. So, ooh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, Money-wise, that was quite sensible. Mm. So, mm. yeah. So that was really fun. And it is fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Well, they're lovely, aren't they? I, I just think you've done such a great job. I don't think I curated like each individual skein is beautiful but i didn't have an overall theme i was just looking at each individual skein whereas i think that you've done a lovely job of also like putting a theme throughout well i tried to well i did have i did have an idea of a theme mm. which i won't tell you because at the end there's a gift that you'll see um, what it might tie in with okay. but because i didn't have all the right colors um, I decided not to. Then I came up with like a bit of a piss take name. Then I just thought I'll just not do it. <laughs> so I will tell that um, later. Uh, la later. Okay. Um, but yeah. So yeah, I did it in a rainbow. Like mm. not in a rainbow, but in like a what do you call that? I don't know, but a gradient, gradient. or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's like yeah, it goes from one color to the next mm. kind of thing. Yeah, mm. I really enjoyed that. Mm. I wish I'd taken a photo because mm. I didn't. I just kind of like. Yeah. Well, yeah, I definitely. could put it together in a photo yeah. at the end. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I re yeah, I really enjoyed it. So it's mm. been it's been fun. Yes. And I, yeah, I'll I'll stop I'll just keep <laughs> waffling today, man. Yeah. Um so I am loving opening that um every morning. It's so much fun. And um in one of our earlier podcasts or episodes I mentioned that I also purchased a Prosper Yarn mm. um, Advent. I purchased a 12 Days of Christmas one. Mm. So I've just been opening it every second day nice. as we go along. And so, so oh, far. They're lovely. These are on their Merino Singles base. Oh. I think it's called Buped. I just love them too. And it's been really cool because they sort of complement um, your one a lot as That's well. Cool. So um, I'm like... Ah, oh, this all fits in really nicely. So I've been really enjoying that. And then no. just, I just thought I'd mention this other one that I found, which is a tea advent. That's so cool. One of my workmates was given one before, like in November. Ah. Oh. And she was telling me about it, and I was like, oh my gosh. And so I went online and I found it. It was only about $11. So I thought, well, that's all right. Um, and it's just another wee advent. Um, they're all herbal teas. And that's been really fun to um, enjoy that too. Nice. So that's all my advents. Cool. Yay. Yay. And yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, I feel like we're smashing through yeah, this today. Yeah, we are doing yeah. Well. yeah. Yeah. Okay, shall we go to... Oh, yes. Okay, ready? Yeah. One, Oops. two, three. That was don't, too don't, soon. Don't be too premature. <laughs> don't be don't, don't pre premature with this. Okay, okay, okay focus, One, focus. two, three. Reading corner, reading corner, reading corner. What have you been reading, Vanessa? Well, um, uh, thanks, Sue, for asking. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, uh, I have been re-listening to some cheesy Christmas favourites. Favorites. Easy for you to say. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one of them was Beth Morton, uh, and it was called Christmas Every Day. Oh, yeah. It is so cheesy it's just beautiful light-hearted easy to listen to and perfect nice. for no-brainer type stuff Love that. um i'm now re-listening to um oh kate hewitt i think is the author mm. and it was it's the willoughby close you know welcome yeah. to willoughby close um series yeah um i feel like there was another one oh yes i started listening to um, Robin Hobb, and it's the Assassin's, the Farseer trilogy, that's what they're called. It's a fantasy book from years ago, back in the 90s, mm. and I do quite like a bit of fantasy. Um, I So many people I knew had read it, so I thought I should finally jump in there. So I'm actually on the third book now. Oh, cool. But it, they're very big, and um, I just needed a bit of a breather from mm. their third book. So, yeah, it's doing all right. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, what are you reading? 
I've well, I think I was last time. I think night time. I'm just listening to the Vampire Knitting series mm. um, again, re re listening because mm. I just find them as a lovely, just mm. um, lovely blanket, and you can just relax and just helps you drift off to sleep. Mm. So just listen to those. But a lovely I blanket. It's love, a great way of saying yeah. It. yeah. Um, but I've uh, during the day, like if at the weekend when I um. I love a podcast but if I don't find a podcast I'm enjoying um or haven't really found any I've so I've been um stumbled across a few autobiographies mm. um so I listened to Karma by Boy George mm. um which is a I think he's written like four this oh, is like wow. his fourth one or something or third one mm. yeah which I really enjoyed mm. uh, yeah it was really easy to listen to um he reads it and he's got a and also oh. he sings some new songs he wrote at the same time as he wrote the book so mm. yeah really recommend it it's kind of like he's mm. now 62 so he's like um kind of able to reflect a bit more being a bit older and stuff um he's still quite pointed in some of his points but he's quite funny as well so definitely i do recommend that i love a good Mm. autobiography I used to be quite big in someone in my 20s but got out of them mm. and then um following upon that I'm just making my way through and I've almost finished um uh my thoughts exactly by Lily Allen ah, um cool. and she's a um singer and actress from the UK mm. um quite f famous in the 2000s yeah yeah the early. I think she's married or <clears throat> Not, I don't know where a marriage is at, but to someone from um, Harper, yeah, from Stranger Things, David yeah. Harper, I think his name is, yeah, yes. mm. yeah, um, yeah, is, is he Canadian? I think he's Canadian. I could be, I, could, I know, I actually could be wrong, he could I be from know. New York. I don't know, I have no idea, <laughs> anyway. Um, but that's quite good, yeah, it's really good. We're listening to, I don't mm. know when she wrote it, also, she reads it herself, but she's, yeah, she's I'm, great. Yeah, I really, I'm enjoying it. She's been through a lot mm. as a kid and stuff. And on my wish list, which um, sounds hilarious, um, uh, James Blunt has a oh. one of all lots of drunken kind of debauchery and stories of, um, with like famous people and stuff, which sounds oh, hilarious. Cool. So um, he also reads that. So when my, or I, do, I go through Audible, so when my Audible credit comes up mm. later this week, I'm buying Jumping that. On the end. Yes, that'd be mm. a good kind of fun holiday read, mm. I think. Mm. I don't have enough concentration. Like, I read fine, I'm dyslexic, but I'm quite a slow reader. And um, and I I think it's more about that I don't do very, very well just reading during the day. Like, I prefer, like, so, um, and I get a lot of enjoyment from reading, um, just listening. So, mm. and, and grew up listening to radio plays and radios through my dad and my nanny so um mm. get a lot of enjoyment from reading but listening so yeah mm. uh yeah so and watching have mm. you been watching anything of course i have been watching lots of um vlogmases vlogmasai vlogmasai um um, that's pretty much all I've been watching actually when it comes to watching things so of course I've been watching Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful or this little, jumble, this little Wonderful Life I always forget which one is yeah. her vlogmas um, I have also been watching Sandy by the Lakeside mm -hmm. um, also Emma Robinson Robson from Woolly Mammoth Fibers who's oh. have you seen her? No. She's a, um, an Irish knitter, uh, yeah, yeah, knitter podcaster, mm -hmm. and she has her own um, dye company, and she uses all natural products to dye her yarns. So, um, and not a vlogmas, but just oh, sorry, one more vlogmas is um, Skane Dear Knits. Oh yes, uh, love watching hers, and yeah, the one that isn't a vlogmas but is just a YouTube channel is Orchid's Heart, or Orchid Hearts, Orchid's Heart, who I think I spoke about last time, mm. and yeah. Um, She's from England, Have you watched she? her? No, I not think yet. You, no. I think you would from enjoy From Birmingham, isn't From she? Birmingham, ah. yeah. 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 So who have you been watching? Um, well, I, yeah, watched Ali, um, then Gaynor from um, Tales of Cuckoo yeah. Land, really love her. Um, she, just a lot of kind of like a lot of life as well as craft crafting um quite 
yeah, I really love her. Um, back to Blighty mm. uh, with Becky. Um, she's from the south coast of England. She's lovely, lovely, gentle lady. And then she's got a pet rabbit, which I quite enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, and then her son um, has one. Um, he's also a knitter and a musician, and he's called Slip Slip Ginge. Um, and I've been watching him as well. So, mm. and Jim likes to get in on the old vlogs as well. So, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I really like them. Mm. I kind of, um, and also, because mine, the ones I watch are British, so it's quite nice to mm. see a bit of British Home. Christmasness. Yeah, yeah. I do love that. I love, I think that's what it is for me, like living vicariously through people who actually experience Christmas in the cold <laughs> you know and all of that watching all of the snow shots and the cold and them all rugged up in their woolies um so i was talking to my uncle today uncle john and um <laughs> he wasn't making it sound as romantic as, <laughs> as it, it looks did. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. it is quite funny but you know what i love mm -hmm. um I love a good garden centre at Christmas. Oh, yes. Love a good garden centre at Christmas. Okay. Uh, like, as in, in the cold parts of the world? Um, yes, or as in, like, because they have good kind of Christmas kind of decorations and Christmas mm. presents and stuff. And every now and again, um, people on the blog have been going to a garden centre. Mm. Oh, I can't, get, I, can't, I can't get enough. We used to go to a garden centre mm. with my mum and dad and... They always have a good cafe and oh. love a good garden centre. Mm. Not to do much gardening. We should have you tried Nichols at this time. Yeah, of year? yeah, we like yeah. not this time of year yeah, really. Maybe. Yeah. Well, Jim was going to go today, but yeah, he mm. yeah we do like a garden centre in general. I just mm. particularly like Christmas mm. garden centre. Yeah, yeah. So mm. hashtag probably a bit boring. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh yeah, I'll oh. be watching a couple of TV series. Mm -hmm. Um. So I've been watching, oh, Outlaws on Prime, um, or our, yeah, be on yeah, Amazon Prime, Prime UK, yeah, yeah. Um, which I think has been out a few years, but um, and it's a British show, and um, we're raving about it. It's about, um, like, this unlikely um, bunch of kind of people who are doing um, community service, because they've broken the law some and when have to pay back to the community and they get in trouble with like a drug dealer and they have to like pay this money back and it's just very funny so it's kind of like how the, the, but it, there's like it's not all funny funny but it's really well done written mm. by you um can you remember the guy i said he was written by i can't remember no he but he wrote he helped write the office so ah oh, stephen merchant yes yeah very funny he's in mm. it as well so mm. yeah it was good um then we've watched a couple of irishy well, Irish E isn't that Irish um, program? So uh, yes. <laughs> um, so hidden assets, mm. and so that's um, it was based in Ireland and Belgium, and so the, and so there's um, some uh, subtitles for the um, oh, Belgian whatever Flemish Flemish. Yes, mm. there we go. I'm not very good at that kind of thing. Um, and it was kind of around. So it's a police unit who investigate um uh profit profits of crime and then they and then they come across a terrorism plot so it's quite it was quite good and then very miserable but enjoyed it and actually based on the true story um called vanishing triangle about them um, mm. some murders of oh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> very enjoyable, uh, very enjoyable <laughs> um, of some young women in ireland in the 90s oh. so uh, unfortunately true story but it was done very well mm. um but yes i do yeah i'm a bit miserable in my tv watching um but i've enjoyed those mm. nice so that's me that's great yeah i just remember that we must say a huge oh, yes. big well done and congratulations and thank you so much too and i'm just looking up your name again i think it was karen cook there it is thank you karen cook you were the only person <laughs> <laughs> to enter our make along which i must say i guess i i this, this is my part of the make along yeah yeah and my my cat is my part of the make along there we go yeah um and karen you have made amazing um projects you've you've got quite a few there uh, if you go along to our instagram page you and or and or look up um the hashtag yfts make along 2023 you will see her beautiful projects but she's made like one two three four five five six 
Um, and some, a couple of those are big juicies as well. So well done. Um, made from her mum's stash, I think. Mostly from her mum's stash, which she had, um, has had for ages. So well done to you. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> and taking the time to pop them up on Instagram. That's awesome. I um, know I know Karen vaguely yeah. through my friend Rachel. So, uh, yeah. And we will get a wee present put yeah. together. And so if you email us. Yeah. Um, or you could just messenger me because you have got my messenger now. <laughs> so you can messenger me with your address. We might actually message you as well um, just yeah. to make sure you, you know that you have won. Yeah. Um, and yeah, get your address and whatnot. And yeah, we'll send you something. So Probably after Christmas, but we will send you something. Definitely. Thank you, Promise. So that was cool. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Um, yeah. Cool. I'm just going to say Merry Christmas now and yep. Happy New Year and just Happy Holidays, you know. Um, Hope you Happy all, all of the things, whatever all you do. All of the things, whatever you do, however you do it, yeah. whoever you do it with. Um, I hope you have a great time yeah. and can find some restfulness and some peace. And time to craft. Time to craft, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And thank you for your support. Yeah. Yeah. It's been, um, we, I'm really proud of ourselves. Mm. High five. High five. Because uh, we have managed to do this regularly this year. For an entire year. For a whole year. So Which sounds really lame. Like, oh, how hard is it to sit down and talk about knitting uh, to a camera? But it can actually, yeah, as everyone knows, life gets busy. So it's... And it's a little bit of a commitment. Mm. Yeah. Mm, definitely. Um, yeah, and we have... Um, and learning of new skills, having yes. to edit and things and yes. what have you. So, yeah, but mm. it's a fun project and I like, and every time I meet anyone, I tell them I have a podcast. Vanessa tells no one. <laughs> I've learnt though, I've been learning that that's a trauma thing. That's a childhood oh, trauma thing. is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. So there we go. <laughs> okay. Did that get really deep really fast? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. I <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, for all those that watch and comment and like and subscribe and all that kind of thing, we are very grateful. Yeah, totally. Yeah. 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 Mm. All okay. right. So we we'll see go. you in February. Yeah. Back in February. Yeah. And um, hopefully we might have some Christmas yeah. yarn to show. Yeah. yeah. And I might have finished, <laughs> might have finished something by then. So yeah. I got a, I got um, a wee, um, I, I volunteer and help um, with in girl guiding, and I got a wee gift. I thought, oh, which I could uh, like a voucher, which I could maybe use on mm. some yarn. Oh, Just cool! That, like, yeah. Where is it? I got it's a Prezi card. Oh, so yes, yeah, yes, you should. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I Just thought of that. Like, oh, what should I spend it? I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid woman. <laughs> <laughs> all okay. right, we better go. Yeah. All right. Love Bye. You all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.